guys welcome back to another day in valencia last night was crazy uh, at the club i might go back there again especially the one upstairs it was actually open uh, and i by mistake bought tickets for today as well so we might go check it out again today we are heading to uh torres de sereno i think that's the place of the place name of the place uh it's like a gate uh, good architecture so heading there just walking around uh, old valencia it's actually raining i checked out the gate uh it's supposed to rain for another 2 hours but then it should be fine uh was good good checking out the gate it's, it's actually nice really like walking down the streets it is actually sort of an exotic place if you want to call it that So we are actually back at the old city square. I'll just show you guys around a little bit. Uh, it's still raining. Need to grab a bite. Haven't had anything since uh, clubbing last night. Uh, and then hopefully by then the rains will the rain will be gone, and then we'll explore more of the old uh, the, like the city center, the old city center, and uh, just walk around random streets to check out the architecture. I yeah, see you at the restaurant or after the at restaurant. I was actually just walking randomly around the street. Uh, I would have missed this place, but just because I'm walking randomly, I saw a few more places. and my data is all also not working now so i ran out of data i need to buy a new sim card uh i had my check number running but it's it's cheaper just to buy a new prepaid sim and uh sim cards in uh, from spain are even more cheaper uh than the than check republic so i was going to go there lost my way and then found a few more gems that i would have missed out on i think from what i can understand from the name in spanish it's the national museum of arts this building and then the other one i'll check it out and i'll see what it is uh pro tip if you're going to any foreign place just download a local version of the maps uh before you get there so i downloaded maps for every city i was planning to visit before uh coming here right so even though my data is not working i still sort of have an idea where i'm walking towards uh but it doesn't give you exact like pinpoint directions but you can just use the map to like navigate around so yeah pro tip download the map before you go some anywhere you know when you travel uh and yeah let's check out what the other building is and what it is called i'll see the map you know so the map still has names for places like for major monuments although it's the offline version it still shows you know what the place is called just pretty cool which is pretty nice comes in handy definitely So McDonald's review from Spain. Got a McFlurry. It's a Kit Kat flavor with some chocolate. Highly, highly rate this 10 on 10 for sure. And that behind me is the the bull fighting ring. And I think that's the that's the train station. Yeah, the the sound you're you're hearing is actually coming from the bull ring. Interesting stuff. I don't know if we can. going now or they have the tickets or something but yeah that's the the you can hear music or like sounds coming from inside cool stuff you know uh i actually ran out of data i had like a check republic sim card uh from vodafone and then i couldn't find anything and i had no data i was just randomly walking around the streets trying to find something and then yeah i just randomly saw what a phone place and then got a spanish sim 
totally random but uh, that saved my life sort of a blessing in disguise and actually i was so surprised i paid only 15 euros um, and i got like 40 gb of data that's, that's just crazy it's like super super cheap stuff so yeah next i think i'm gonna keep my uh, spanish sim now so next time when i come to europe i'm just gonna add uh whatever a plan to that number but uh, yeah till now this has been the cheapest phone plans i've seen in europe so much cheaper than any other place okay i'm gonna enjoy this now and maybe see if i can get it to the uh the bullfighting range Right, so we are in City Play Valencia, that's like the main plaza in the city. Uh, there's like a lot of people here, probably because it's Saturday. Um, I'll add a pan shot for all the amazing architecture uh, in this area. It's basically, uh, they say you can see a lot of different styles of uh, Spanish architecture in the plaza. There's, a, there's some squid game uh, <laughs> TikTok shooting on, shooting going on on that side. People are just watching that. I'm pretty sure it's for TikTok and just a group span around. I'll show you guys if it can follow me. Yeah, those guys are like recording something, which is a uh, Squid Game theme. I don't know if it's uh, if they're doing it because of Halloween or just trying to put out a, a TikTok or something. But yeah, that's what's happening. I think a lot of locals they just come here because the 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 logic behind a plaza is that it's supposed to be like a community space where people come in to like hang out and stuff. So, and this is like the main one in the city. Uh, like pretty brilliant architecture. I'll add a pan shot right after this. Uh, so you guys will get a better visual about, you know, how the buildings are and stuff. So yeah, I actually feel energized all of a sudden after seeing so many people. I was almost like done for the day. Like I wasn't even able to like walk around and stuff. But now that I'm seeing people around, you know, all energized and having a good time on a Saturday evening, I think I'm back to my 80%, not my 100%. Maybe after a year or two, I'll be to my 100%, but right now it's an 80. But yeah. Now I'm gonna head to a Halloween store, uh, get a Halloween costume sorted out. Tomorrow's Halloween. Um, and I'm reaching Barcelona around, um, I think 9, 9 p.m. So pretty, I'm pretty sure things are gonna be closed by then. Uh, but uh, I have to prep for Halloween, so gonna get a Halloween costume sorted out and then probably head back to the hotel and head clubbing. Look at that, he's properly ventilated right where you need all the ventilation at. Oh man, that's that's actually funny that um, <laughs> his, his costume actually had a ventilation system. Just finished with the club. I went back to Mia today on a Saturday. It was much more busier than uh, yesterday. Maybe it was because of Halloween. Maybe Saturdays are much more busier. I actually wanted to go to the umbrella. I went upstairs as well. It was sort of drizzling, uh, so they didn't have a lot of people in there. But I believe that club by itself, I didn't go inside, but you can actually sort of see the structure from the outside as well. Uh, just that alone should be a good enough reason to come to Valencia if you love cl clubbing. That's what I feel. I really wanted to go there, but um, yeah, it was just a bit drizzling at that time. So not a lot of people were there. And update about what I thought was a scam yesterday. It wasn't. So the ticket I bought beforehand for yesterday, which I thought was for yesterday, was for today. So it worked out. Uh, one more tip. Uh, most places in Valencia, when you get, when you pay the cover, they give you a ticket. And it's actually valid for one drink when you get inside the club. Like, I think it's any drink. Uh, which I sort of like understood today because at some places I did get it with the coupon. Like I did get the ticket. Like I did get a drink with the ticket. But like when I came here yesterday, I totally forgot. And I didn't even see that, you know, it's... 
I thought maybe it's not a universal thing. Um, so yeah, something to keep in mind when you go clubbing in Valencia, your cover actually includes one one drink, uh, which is nice because considering that you're paying a lot of cover, like I paid about 25 bucks, 25 euros to get in yesterday. And then um, I got the ticket for today, which was for 20 euros. If you buy it beforehand, it's like five bucks cheaper. Uh, but sort of, it doesn't compensate, but you know, still you get something extra. You like, you get a drink with it, which is nice. And yeah, uh, crazy thing, you know, like uh, the daylight saving ended today in Spain on 31st of October. And it ends on the 7th of November in Canada sort of out of sync so we actually got one more hour to party um right now it's about 3 45 non-daylight saving time which is the new time now uh had it not been that case it would be around 3 4 45 so i've been here for about four hours got an extra hour sort of had i stayed there uh but i really want to spend some quality time tomorrow in valencia before i leave for uh, barcelona so I want to go back home, get some rest and blessing this guys, one extra hour of sleep and then chill around the hotel area, I guess. I'll sort of make a plan tomorrow, but I really want to spend some more quality time in Valencia uh, before I leave for Barcelona. So yeah, that's why I left the club. Really, really going to miss it. Mia, it's amazing. And I'm pretty sure the one upstairs, um, Umbrella, is also looks amazing uh, i think they have the same ownership also so interesting stuff signing off for tonight see you guys tomorrow we're gonna chill a bit in valencia and then we're gonna head to barcelona also excited for that train trip because i was gonna take a train from berlin to prague which i missed and i had to take a bus instead to make up for time by make up for time i mean to make sure that i reach on the same day uh, so I'm actually excited to take a train ride from here to Barcelona. I mean, it's a very European thing, I guess. When you're on a Euro trip, you've got to take a train trip somewhere. So that's going to be me for tomorrow. And I have a nice uh, window seat. So we'll hopefully be seeing some good countryside Spain uh, before we reach Barcelona. All right, that's it for tonight. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. All right, guys, welcome back. Another day in Valencia. We are heading to Barcelona today. Uh, just checked out at the hotel. Uh, gonna chill in one of the bars and restaurants here for about four hours. And then we head to the, the station to grab a train. Yeah, so see you guys at the bar and then in Barcelona. Right, just uh, signing off from Valencia on the beach right beside my hotel. I'm gonna be heading to the train station soon uh, to catch my train to Barcelona. Um, so just trying to absorb the surroundings for one last time until we come back soon, hopefully very soon. And it's actually pretty nice to see the hills by the side of the beach. Puts the cherry on top of the view, definitely. Just been walking around the beach for about two hours now. It's, it's nice weather, it's about 27 degrees and the water is actually warmer today than the other day I came to the beach. It's actually pretty nice. So yeah, just gonna spend a few more minutes, about half an hour here and then head to the station. See you guys at the station or in the train, whenever I get time. See you guys. And that's it from the beaches at Valencia. Alright, I'm at the, the station, just about to board my train to Barcelona. Check out the station, it's so pretty. And that's the bullfighting ring I showed you guys yesterday. Just in the downtown area, just absorbing some nice views before I head inside and uh, grab a nice window seat and head to Barcelona. The time actually changed yesterday, the daylight saving ended here. So I don't think we'll have a lot of sunlight throughout the trip uh, because now sunset is one hour before it used to be. But we'll make the most out of what we have uh, see you guys in the train or in Barcelona. See you. Bye-bye.